everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make this adorable and magical little unicorn pillow. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I have to apologize, I didn't have any videos for you last week. Our family actually had a really rough week. My grandpa passed away last Monday, March the 6th. Um, it was a rather sudden and tragic thing so our family was just reeling from that and I just wanted to take the week off from the blog from the YouTube channel and just be with my mom and the rest of my family so I am back this week and I'm really excited to get back into videos again and back into blogging again and thank you to all of you that took the time to wish us your condolences and offer virtual hugs on Instagram and uh, on my blog post last week. If you want to read about my grandpa and what he meant to me, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to the blog post that I wrote for my grandpa. Today I want to show you how to make this really sweet, really adorable little DIY unicorn pillow. If you saw Little Bee's room makeover the other week, you would have seen this pillow on her bed. And I am partnering up with Cricut to make this for you and to show you how to make this. It was really fun, uh, relatively easy, and I have the free cut files to make all of these things for you. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need one yard of white cotton or white linen fabric. Here I'm using some white linen. One skein of rainbow colored yarn. I found this yarn at Michael's. Some gold glitter iron on. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Some polyester batting, fabric scissors, the Cricut Explore Air, a sewing machine, an iron, and a needle and thread. To get started, you need to download my free PDF unicorn pillow pattern, and I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box below. Next, print the pattern out on four pieces of letter-sized paper, and then tape the pieces together to create the unicorn shape. Pin the pattern to your fabric, fold it in half, and then cut out the pattern to create two unicorn-shaped pieces from the fabric. With fabric scissors, cut out a piece of the gold glitter iron-on to match the shape of the unicorn's horn. Iron the gold glitter iron-on to the fabric following the directions on the package. I used my hottest iron setting and the gold glitter adhered perfectly to my linen fabric. Next, you need to download or visit the unicorn and stars and eye pattern that I designed in the Cricut design space. I will also leave a link to that in the description box below. I've made it public so that you can use it for yourself. I've had a ton of fun making my own designs in Cricut Design Space, and I've also made them in my own illustration program and imported them into Design Space, and both have worked great. Cut my unicorn stars and eyes pattern onto the gold glitter iron-on with your Cricut Explore Air machine. Weed out the ex excess iron-on with your weeder tool, and then iron the stars and the eye on the unicorn fabric shape. You can use this video for placement or you can make them wherever you want on a unicorn shape. To make the front of a unicorn's mane, wrap several strands of rainbow yarn around your hand just like this. Next, carefully remove the yarn from your hand and sew across the top of the loop as shown. Repeat this process twice using a larger item like the end of an ironing board to make the back part of the mane and the tail. Remove the yarn from the object and sew across the top to secure the strands. Next, pin the mane and tail pieces to the right side of your unicorn fabric like this. Make sure that any excess yarn stays within the edges of the fabric piece. So I just simply folded and bunched my excess yarn up into the middle of my unicorn shape. Pin the two unicorn shaped pieces of fabric together like this, right sides together. And then you're going to sew around the perimeter of the shape using a half inch seam allowance and leaving about a five inch hole at the top back of the unicorn. Clip off any corners, making sure not to cut the stitches and cut slits anywhere the fabric curves so that the seams will curve nicely once you turn the unicorn right side out. Next, turn the unicorn right side out and stuff it with polyester batter. I also made sure when I was turning the unicorn right side out that I pushed out any little corners with a knitting needle. 
I started by stuffing the ears and the horn, then I stuffed the head and the feet, and finally I finished by stuffing the body. and stitch the opening shut with a needle and thread. You are all done and you can enjoy your unicorn as a little stuffy to hug or it also makes a really adorable and beautiful nursery or bedroom decoration. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial today. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you were inspired by it. If you make one of these pillows, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.